Hey, my name is John Donovan and today I'm going to be demonstrating the method used to splice copper cables. Copper cables are normally broken into 25 pair binder groups. 25 pairs of wires are color coded inside the cable and those can then be sorted. Each of these wires has a color code which corresponds to this splicing comb. The color code goes white, red, black, yellow, and violet. Within each of those is blue, orange, green, brown, and slate colors. The standard method for splicing is to choose a pair of wires in this case, the first one that comes out happens to be yellow-blue. I put that into the yellow-blue position on the color cone. Here is a yellow-green. I simply sort that into yellow-green. This one happens to be yellow-orange. The next one, selected at random, happens to be black slate. This is white slate. That will go up in this area of the color cone. This is white green. There's a spring along the back that maintains tension in the cone. This is red blue. White brown. Red orange. This is yellow brown. This is black brown. As you can see, this is a simple process of sorting colors. Black orange. White orange. This particular method has been used for more than 35 years as a standard in the industry for doing high production splicing of copper cables. Here is a black green. white blue. This task is something that can be trained very easily. I have trained others to do this and it really takes only a short amount of time to teach someone how to do this operation. Red brown here. Violet blue. And violet green. One 
was a yellow slate. We have two pair left. This one is violet slate, last pair in the group. And violet brown. Now as a quality check, I make sure all of these wires are tight. There are little cutters in this base. Now to perform the splice, and I've already done this with a similar module, the two modules are placed together in the unit. Then a hydraulic press is pressed over this. Pressure is applied that squeezes the two modules together. When that's completed, I take the wires that were sticking out the other end and they simply come off. I release the hydraulic press and this completes the splicing of 25 pairs of wires to its matching color-coded set of 25 wires. Now, part of the splicing operations includes removing pairs. In order to remove pairs, and these can be stacked three high in the case of a bridge splice, all that's needed to remove pairs in a splice like this is to put this device in and then snapping operation and the pairs are removed. This concludes the video.